Hi everybody and welcome to my channel, Spanish Pills, the best YouTube channel to learn to speak Spanish. Hola a todos y a todas, bienvenidos valientes amantes del español a mi canal Spanish Pills, el mejor canal de YouTube para aprender a hablar español. Well, what are we gonna do today? As you can see, today I'm gonna show you how to say de nada You're welcome, en español. Like in English and in Spanish, there are many different ways to say de nada, you're welcome. Here you have a list of the most useful ones, the most important ones, the ones you need to know. I'll tell you how it goes. I will read every phrase once and I will tell you what it means in English. I will also try to explain how and when we use each of these phrases in Spanish just in case it helps you to understand them better, because some of them are pretty hard to translate, but if you understand how and when we use them, you'll have no problem with any of them. I think it will be easier for you to learn to use them this way. As I always tell you, try to pause the video and repeat after me each phrase, at least three times, so you can start practicing, okay? And try not to go too fast, but not too slowly either. Remember that we speak very fast in Spanish, so you need to get used to that as soon as possible. So, ¿estáis preparados para aprender a decir de nada en español? ¿Sí? Genial. Tres, dos, uno... Comenzamos. De nada. You're welcome. What else can I say? No hay de qué. No hay de qué. As if it was just one word. No hay de qué. It's very, very informal, but we use it a lot. Okay? You use it when you don't really want anyone to say thanks. Okay? I, I did it. Because I wanted to. I wanted to help you. So, no hay de qué. No es nada. Like in English. You're just trying to... Not to make a big deal out of this. Okay? I just help you. Whatever. You say thank you. No es nada. Sin problema. Like in English. Not a problem. A very informal way of saying de nada, sin problema. Okay, pay attention to this one, because it means exactly the same in English, don't mention it, but notice that we don't say no lo menciones, but ni lo menciones, okay? This is not a word by word translation, we're not translating the imperative, we're using a phrase, ni lo menciones, don't forget that. Okay? It's a very informal one. Ni lo menciones. It happens the same with this one. No worries. We don't say no te preocupes. That would be the imperative. But ni te preocupes. Okay? So when we are using de nada, remember, ni lo menciones, ni te preocupes. Like in English, of course, por supuesto. I think we use it when someone is asking you to do something and it's like, okay, you can count on me. And they are like, oh, thank you. And you're like, por supuesto, of course, I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Well, this one, if we make a word by word translation, it would literally means whatever you need. <laughs> so... I thought that it could be like any time because it's like someone is asking for your help to do something and it's like I'm available for whenever you need me, okay? And they're like, oh, gracias, lo que necesites. Anytime, anything, anywhere, I'm here for you, lo que necesites. When you use this one, 
con mucho gusto, like in English, happy to help, you are showing that it makes you happy to be helpful. And it's very beautiful to say this, right? To feel like that. Con mucho gusto. Someone is really grateful with you and they are showing it to you and you're trying to be humble. No ha sido nada. Like in English, it was nothing. You're trying not to make a big deal, okay? You're just trying to, okay, enjoy that you could be helpful, okay? No ha sido nada. Once again, you're being humble, but at the same time, you're just enjoying the fact that you could be helpful, okay? My pleasure. Un placer. You're even showing them that you're willing to help whenever they need you, okay? Un placer. My pleasure. And the last one, and the longest one. Encantado or encantada de poder ayudar. You're being, once again, humble, but at the same time, you know, you're just showing them that they can count on you, that you're willing to help whenever they need you, whatever you can do, anything to help. Glad to help in English. Encantado or encantada de poder ayudar. And about the gender, it's on you. I mean, if you're a male, you say encantado. If you're a female, you say encantada. Okay, you are the one who's glad to help. Encantado or encantada means glad in English. Okay, so that was all. Thanks for watching. Muchísimas gracias por ver este video. I hope you've learned a lot. If you enjoy it, like and subscribe. Hasta pronto. Adiós.